It's just been hard to differentiate when the heck my cycle begins. So in terms of tracking, I haven't been tracking because I didn't know when to track. I'm like, what do I say is my... You guys, so I was in the middle of filming. I actually filmed a video for you guys on this channel today wearing the same thing, so don't come for me if you see me dressed this way. But I was in the middle of filming. I came up to my room just now because I'm about to actually film another video for my um, family channel. And then I had to use the washroom. Lo and behold, I experienced spotting today. I think it's spotting because I've never had spotting before. This is TMI, but I told you guys before that I I wasn't sure what I wanted to go on for birth control and so I have not been on birth control and um, also it's been weird to try to just differentiate what my cycle was so oh, if you hear baby boy he's right there he's in a little mess in it it's been hard to do from in terms of my cycle it's been hard to kind of differentiate what my cycle has been because I had a c-section so I did have like bleeding post um my section so i had to go replace my battery real quick because the battery died but yeah my cycle came and i couldn't like after giving birth i had like postpartum bleeding which is typical the heavy days occurred during like my stay i was only in the hospital for two days after having this c-section like the mo it's the least number of days my last two pregnancies i was in there for the least number of days two days all the rest were like four and i think one three so anyways I came home and obviously and I'm expecting the bleeding to continue as per usual like I said this video is going to be TMI because I am talking about postpartum and bleeding and all that stuff this is a women's channel this is a channel where I want to not vet just vent but to share candid female information because we need that so oh I think the, the downstairs is so noisy um, my kids program I, I can hear my kids program all the way up here so anyways that happened and I was experiencing postpartum bleeding I'm coming boo boo I'm coming I'm coming I see you I know you're there and yeah I was experiencing the postpartum bleeding and it kept on going casually some days on some days off some days light some days heavier um, not anything crazy not anything out of the norm but then it like the seventh the sixth week mark came and i didn't know when the heck to draw the line like i'm like okay my cycle is still going or this cycle after you know the six week bleeding is still occurring and like i said i'd have days off i'd have a number of times where it was like three days off or what felt like four or five days off and then it just came back like it just came as it went and i'll oh one thing it's so weird it took me literally like five pregnancies to figure this out i stated it in another video as well that i find that when i wear my band my uterus obviously constrict more and it pushes you know more blood out you know to so to speak and it was doing that even at like the six week mark right so if i wrapped myself really well and i'd work out or do something i'd notice that i'd have like mild bleeding nothing crazy um nothing crazy to be like of concern by any means but i noticed it so it took me five yeah five pregnancies to figure out that um obviously bending down your belly really does help to constrict your uterus i think i knew that but i don't i don't know I was just in disbelief my, my cycle kind of went all on and off then it came back at the six week mark and then it continued to the seventh week week mark then I had to look it up I took to Google honey and I was like wondering what in the world is happening then I saw that some women can have their bleeding up to like 12 weeks I was kind of in shock by that one because I've never had it for that long anyways bleeding continued lightly up until like it went away for a few days somewhere in the middle of the seven week mark and then it came back again at the eight week mark so i'm thinking that last one was my actual cycle my actual period came it's just been hard to differentiate when the heck my cycle begins so in terms of tracking i haven't been tracking because i didn't know when to track i'm like what do i say is my period do i just keep tracking every day blood today blood today blood you know what i mean for eight weeks on end like no well maybe someone some people would but i didn't do that and nothing and it's not a bad thing if you do that uh yeah 
I probably should have done that, but I didn't. So anyways, my last cycle came and I think that must have been my period because according to the days, like it ended, it ended a few days ago, I would say maybe five days back. And then just now I went to the washroom and I just wiped, like there's nothing in my underwear, but I'm wiping and there is like spotting. So I'm assuming that's like, what do you call it? that's ovulation i maybe i'm assuming maybe i'm ovulating i hope it's nothing else that would be crazy um so i'm gonna go and check to see if i'm ovulating i'm gonna do an ovulating ovulation test which will be my first one uh i'm just kind of killing a little bit of time till i need to actually go to the washroom again because when i went i just went i didn't anticipate that i'd be taking an ovulation test uh yeah but if i but if i do check back like i said that would it would literally make sense that my cycle was there for 10 for for about five days and then it phased off and this is let me see the 27 to 8 day it's like six days after six to seven days after so i could be ovulating that would be the only reason i think i would be spotting or or I could be pregnant <laughs> and that is not a joke because I really do not want to be pregnant I've never had any accidents <laughs> before being pregnant without not trying no, not trying or not wanting to be um so I don't want any to start now I just have a, a newborn and I have a bunch of weight on me that I need to get off before even thinking of going down that road again so I don't want to be caught off guard because that will be hard it will be very very hard oh my gosh wow so I'm just gonna not go there I'm not gonna entertain that idea of pregnancy I'm just gonna assume that I'm ovulating and I'm gonna go ahead and check maybe in the next 10 minutes 20 minutes or so when I need to release my bladder again so I'll tap in I'll tap in and touch base then uh, you guys leave a comment down below and let me know how with your postpartum bleeding did it go on forever have you had longer bleeding outside of the schedule or outside of the norm the norm is said to be six weeks ha remind you that I didn't have a vaginal delivery and I had a baby via c-section so perhaps that's why I'm experiencing it oh and this time around the woman who delivered me was not my o, o B and so my story was kind of horrendous she did a number on my stomach just like and she was like almost prompting that I was gonna have a hysterectomy so it was kind of crazy um yeah it was a bit crazy so I don't know if I could my bleeding could also be contributed to like to that because she was like so rough that was like my roughest I think delivery yet oh <sighs> just scares you you don't want to have someone who's not your OB because your OB knows you I know incidences happen when you go in for emergency and you just end up with a doctor but my oh my it's not the same and I don't wish it on anyone anywho I'll see you guys on the flip side when I do the ovulation test to see and just hope and keep my fingers crossed that ovulation it is and that um you know I don't have to worry <laughs> I am not wanting to worry so you guys the baby needed me and i wasn't able to come in here and film the end result for you guys but this is the results a few days later but the honest truth is i wasn't ovulating i checked and i even took two <laughs> to double check there i don't know one might look a little brighter than the other but they were nowhere near ovulation so i don't know what the heck was going on um stay tuned for the next video i'll explain a little bit sorry i'll explain a little bit about things but yeah this is the results i didn't want to leave you guys hanging without like coming back and explaining the results because that, that wouldn't make any sense so yeah back to the drawing board we go because ovulation was not the result of what i was experiencing and my cycle actually still didn't start since then <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for an updated video which will explain i guess further about what's going on and sorry for the quality of this footage because it is taken using my iphone <laughs> so don't forget to like today's video guys um leave your comments down below and let me know your take on this kind of 
thing, uh, the topic of which was mentioned in today's video. And don't forget to like and um, yeah, share. And until next time, much love, y'all.